Hey guys, JP here again. I want to talk a little bit about batting cage netting and uh, batting cages themselves. What you want to know about batting cage netting is that you don't want to buy this stuff twice. So let's think it through before we invest. Here's the bottom line. The heavier the net, the longer it will last. So do get in mind how old your boy is or your girl is and how long they may be utilizing this. Our standard number 21 net is a fine quality. If you had a 17 year old boy and he's going to be leaving for college or leaving home or leaving the high school baseball program in a year or two, a number 21 net is fine. He's not going to hit holes through it. If you have a very young child, a number 36 or even a number 42, if they're going to use it for seven, eight years, again, you want to have that as a consideration. Because what breaks nets down are very simple. They're abrasion from the ball, the logical places being behind the batter where the pitching machine or pitchers throw a ball by a batter and it hits the same spot within the strike zone. But also winter winds are very abrasive, which is why we influence people to take your net down in the off season and or in the winter. The sun's rays will definitely do damage to netting. Again, the thicker the net, the longer that should last. Because as in all our good quality nets that we sell, which is from top to bottom, they're all UV protected from the sun's rays, thus giving you a few more years of use. Because as you have a hole and the hole becomes larger or there become more holes, your net becomes unusable. So buy the heaviest net that's within your budget. Now, when you're considering that a longer cage net is going to cost you more, do keep in mind that it's probably smarter to buy a shorter batting cage, such as our 55 footer, as opposed to our 70 footer, with a heavier net. Now that's assuming that you are just dealing with hitters. When you're dealing with pitchers and you're going to want a cage, obviously they're going to want to pitch at that pitching distance that they have in their games. 60 foot 6 inches is the furthest they will ever pitch from a mound. Some 13, 14 year old programs go to the 60 foot 6 inches and it goes right through the pro leagues. Little league tends to be 46 foot and of course your fast pitch girls are at 42. With all that said, let's talk about materials. Nylon is the premier material. It's certainly stronger and it is more expensive than poly, also known as polyethylene. Net strength for either of these nets is measured as tensile strength. Our number 21 net, for instance, which is our standard, is 220 pounds of resistance and that will snap it. Whereas our number 36 is 320 pounds. As you can see, heavier net, again, relates to longevity. The nylon net is great for its high abrasion qualities. It will stay together longest of the two materials and you will pay for the privilege. It's also softer, it's also a little easier to hang. The downside of nylon net is that it will absorb water. In an outdoor application you may find that it becomes very heavy and sags and will pull on what's holding it up and that may shorten the life. The other downside of nylon is that over time the sun will gray the black material. The second choice is polyethylene. It's actually a plastic that's melted down and then extruded into strands. Because you can start with that state of liquid, the liquid plastic, you can put the UV coating right in that mix. In addition, you can put the color right in that mix. So, as it is basically a plastic, it does not retain water. And also, as the sun gets to it over the years, it will not change color. It doesn't have quite the abrasive qualities that nylon has, but it's an excellent choice. The final thought about poly nets are that the stable material is best for areas where temperatures change dramatically as well. In summary, for backyard use, I'd say go with whatever fits your budget. For indoor training facilities, I would recommend you look at nylon first because it does survive the heaviest use best and there is no rain inside your facility, nor does it uh, have the heavy sun on it that may gray the net over time. Thanks a lot. Click the button that fits you best, or feel free to call us for more information or to place your order over the phone. Thank you. Talk to you another day.
Thanks for visiting BaseballTips.com. I'm JP. Hope to see you again.